Hello, I'm Paul Beckwith and uh, the uh, famous uh, canal in Ottawa just opened for skating an hour or two ago. So I'm just going to give you a little tour up the uh, three quarters of the canal. So let me go to wide angle. So it's been fairly cold and uh, the crews have been out uh, each night drilling holes in the ice and uh, pumping water onto the surface of the, uh, of the uh, ice. And that way they can get almost double the uh, freezing rate. And I don't know, I think they go for something like 10 inches of ice before they open it up to the public. So. Last year was a very mild winter, so it only uh, canal o managed to open for skating for 10 days. And the year before that, it was even more mild and the canal uh, did not open up for the first time, I think in its skating history. And uh, since they first started using it as for skating. And I don't know when that was exactly, maybe in the 60s or 70s, I could look it up. Newton's a bit pissed off because dogs aren't allowed on the canal. So I had to leave him there kind of looking at me, tail between his legs saying, like, what's this guy doing? Where's he going without me? So when Susan and I get home, we're gonna take him to a dog park for an hour or so. So he'll be in, he'll be in, he'll be very happy. This is uh, University of Ottawa over here on the left, and then a pedestrian bridge right here. There's another pedestrian bridge further south. They're gonna need a Zamboni soon. Nope, almost no place to park on the side streets. And uh, they announced on the radio a couple days ago that the canal would be opening this morning at 8 a.m. So people out in droves. So this is all University of Ottawa campus on the uh, left there. And also you'll notice how stable the filming is, the camera is, and uh, I'd like to claim credit for it with a steady hand, but uh, the image stabilization software on the iPhone 16 is uh, phenomenal. And uh, yeah, it's mostly the reason why it's such a smooth uh, filming. You know, it takes out all the jitter and stuff with the, the software image stabilization system. I don't drop the camera. The very fact that you're actually seeing and enjoying this video means that I didn't drop the camera and it didn't break into a million pieces because if it did, you obviously wouldn't be seeing this video.
So if you're in the U.S. and salivating at the prospect of uh, taking over Canada, you should sign up for skating lessons immediately because uh, part of the uh, mandatory requirement for being a Canadian is you have to know how to ice skate. Let's see if the fact checkers... Uh, put in a note on my video claiming uh, BS for that last statement. Okay, we're almost at the point of departure. And I'm not talking about falling through the ice and departing that way. I'm talking about departing from the ice surface by ducking through this little opening here known as Brown's Inlet. <laughs> 